The reason I've contributed to this book is that for many years now, we've been told in the church that we need to listen. And I've tried to take that seriously. As Peter listened to Cornelius in the book of Acts and found his own understanding of what God's grace might be was expanded, even as Cornelius himself came to faith. So as a guy who's been committed to evangelism all this time, it just seems really important to me not only to listen, but to listen with an open mind. So just a week ago, my little grandchild Hector was born. And in my mind now, I think of what I call the Hector factor. So there's Hector, uh, longer than he's been alive in England. Same-sex marriage has been designed. What I've written and, and, and what I'm saying is designed to say is if we're going to listen, let's listen with a real sense that God might be speaking to us. And we bring the truth of scripture and we bring the truth of what the spirit may be saying and from that, we find a way forward. Peter listened to Cornelius, and that changed Cornelius, but it also changed Peter. I'm trying to listen to LGBT people in my family and in the wider church and in the wider world. And as a result of that, I'm going to be bringing to our conversations my own feeling, which is, in my own words, that we should extend the table.